All right, let's get our projector set up so that we can project some images onto our cookies and have really nice, crisp lines. Um, I'm Lauren from Lolly's Home Kitchen. You can call me Lolly, and I'm gonna walk you through how to set up and get your um, connect uh, your projector to your stand and to your device and uh, change your settings so that it can accurately project onto your baked goods. We're gonna start with uh, what I've got here. So I am gonna be connecting to my, my laptop. Um, this also is gonna apply if you have a tablet, if you have a phone. Um, today I'm showing you how to set up using a Pico projector. So this is a P2A Pico projector and um, I'll walk you through all of these uh, inputs and settings. We've got just the charging cable here. I've got my stand. I have an adapter because my laptop and a lot of devices nowadays have a USB-C uh, hookup. So I've got an adapter because I'm gonna need to put in um, another cable, this HDMI cable, and that HDMI cable is gonna connect to here. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna have uh, the, the projector itself connect to the adapter and the adapter is going to connect to the device okay so that's how it's going to hook together but let me show you exactly how to set this up so we can get the right angle and then i'll walk you through the settings okay so we're going to set the charger cable off to the side what we want to do first is get the projector onto the stand so you may have a different type of stand there's many out there i especially love this one because it's, it's really versatile, you can change the angle easily, uh, and you can manipulate exactly how that projector is sitting. And so uh, I usually put these, these legs out like this. You can have them a little uh, closer if you want, or you can have them you know, super wide. Uh, so I'm gonna set it up like that. Usually I'll get a paper towel and like set my cookies here. Now, uh, when it comes, this is going to be straight up and down, but we wanna make sure that it's angled because we wanna angle the stand and project the cookie more straight up, and, or project um, your image more straight up and down. You'll notice here this has a mount. This is where we're going to put our projector on. So this uh, Pico projector and other projectors too, they're gonna have a place where you can mount that on. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Just gonna twist it. Okay, so there we go. And I'm, I'm holding, I'm holding the, um, the bracket underneath so that I can get a little bit of a, kind of a taut fit to it, okay? So now that's on there, and there is a little knob. I'll show you here. There's a little uh, knob here, and that's what's making the, this, uh, this ball bracket here move. So you can tighten that up or you can loosen it up and then make it move where you want. Now we want this to project down, right? Now what happens if I do this? Well, I'm gonna have to get my cookie straight up against here in order to do that. So we want, we want this to angle a little further out, give ourselves some room to work in as well. I know that's kind of a, a tricky part when we, um, most, most bakers and food artists, and when they get started with this, it's like, how do I make sure it's like well enough over my baked good so that um, I'm not getting in the way of myself or my hand's not getting in the way. Okay, so that's where this lever comes in. You're gonna want to uh, hold this and you're gonna wanna undo and we're going to angle it, okay? Now you can angle it pretty far out. Uh, I would say, okay, so you don't want it this far. Uh, I would say not even a 45. So you can, you can take, you can kind of start moving this as well. If I want that to go straight down, then I want to angle it just a little bit. I'm going to tighten that up. Okay, see where it actually ends up once it's tightened? And then, okay, now I've got that. Now, you're going to notice another piece to this stand is this right here. You can extend up a little bit, okay? So you're going to want to extend it because that's going to give you a little bit more um, room for your projector to be out over on top of your um, your work area um, and keep you from having to to get too close to the the whole setup okay so normally i have mine at about there so it's a little over i would say about 18 inches total and then um, so that is set this is set at the right angle 
And again, there's there's a little give in between. I, I don't do exact angles. I can't, I don't honestly, I don't know if this is, you know, what measure angle measurement this is, but I'm, I'm much more of a visual person, so I wanna show you. This is what it looks like. This is what it's gonna look like over top of your work surface, okay? All right, so you may need to adjust this a little bit once we get this turned on and that's what we're gonna do now. Okay, so I'm gonna set this here. Now, I believe this is charged a little bit, but I wanna show you what it looks like. So I'm gonna plug that in and then this is gonna come around and your DC, it's gonna say DC, or it's gonna have some sort of indication that this is where you plug in for power, okay? And then you're gonna see a light turn on indicating that it is receiving power. Now, the other thing that I wanna do is uh, turn it on. So I'm not gonna hook it up to my computer yet. I'm just gonna turn it on. So then you're gonna see the light come on and you're gonna see it start to project. You'll probably hear the sound of it moving. Okay. Now, this is a silicone work surface and it is a little bit translucent. All right, when I do this, I always wanna put a paper towel underneath. It's going to um, give you, it's gonna be a better reflection of how sharp your image actually is. So you want something white and opaque underneath. If that's a piece of paper, that's great. Paper towels are great too. All right, so this is starting. Now mine is, is set to the right uh, angles. I have shifted the, the keystone to match up and make it, make it level on my cookie, horizontally, vertically, all of that. All right, so there's, you're gonna find different settings. There's streaming apps, you can go Wi-Fi. So um, on the device, and depending if you have, there's a, there's a couple of different Pico projectors, um, or if you have another one, there's navigation on the device itself. This one has it right here. It actually is a little, it has a little uh, section where I can move this arrow on the screen. Now, if you wanted to go into streaming apps, you could. You're gonna go ahead and select that. So, hey, if you wanted to go and stream um, shows on Netflix or something, you can use it as a regular projector. I'm gonna go back. Now, I wanna go to inputs, okay? Uh, so, we're gonna go to inputs. And I've, I'm, I'm gonna be hooking this up to digital video. You can see this, this icon right here, that's an HDMI cable, that's how I'm gonna be hooking it up. Okay, so that's where I'm gonna go in order to project what is on my screen, on my device, over to the projector. Now I'm gonna go back because when you turn this on for the first time, you're gonna need to actually go to settings. Settings is where you're going to adjust your display so that it's turned the right way and everything looks like how, you, how it's supposed to and how you want it to appear on the cookie. Okay, so um, where you're gonna go is display settings. Oops, make sure I'm on there. Okay, you're gonna go to display settings. There we go. All right, and this is gonna have a bunch of options, okay? You can go to, um, let's see, go to display. I'm gonna go to projection. This is where uh, you're going to set whether or not it's projecting. So on this specific Pico, you're gonna want to do inverted front, okay? So uh, now this is backwards and we're gonna have a little bit of a hard time. Okay, if you wanted to go inverted back, I mean, it's gonna look a lot different. It's gonna flip it, but um, whoops. Hold on, I accidentally selected that one. I want inverted front, okay? Now you're also going to adjust. You can check out, whoops, you can check out display settings. Um, that'll, you know, I, this one isn't too important. You're just gonna get the lines. You're not as much interested in like, you know, the warmness or coolness of the picture, but uh, you can take a look at all of these settings and, and get a feel for what they do. Um, the keystone is another one that you're gonna want to take a look at. So that's gonna adjust how angled it looks like when it actually projects onto the surface, okay? Now, we've already done some of that with the way that this stand is set up. So it's already angled. We are um, projecting about straight up and down. Now, if you wanna angle it out a little bit and 
Uh, if you want to get really exact, then you're going to want to adjust the keystone if you're, if you're planning on having it, having the projector actually angled out like this, okay? Now, if it sometimes, you know, depending on the shape of the cookie, a little bit of um, an uneven keystone doesn't matter. Um, however, this is where you're going to actually set it, okay? So you're going to left, right, and there's also up, down keystone that you can adjust. Okay, so that's going to give you, that's going to um, allow the projector uh, image to be turned the right way so that when you look at it, when it's set up like this, then it's going to be accurate. You can put a, place your cookie down and it's going to show, um, it's going to show correctly. Now, if you want to hook this up wireless, so uh, if you don't have an HDMI cable or you want to hook wirelessly to your device, this is where you're going to set that up. So you'll check your um, your Wi-Fi settings, you're gonna to have to enter that all in and then connect to your device that way. Usually there is a separate app or um, you'll have to look on your own device. Let's say if I was using this with my phone, then I would go to my phone and I would um, look to connect with the Pico projector device. I normally uh, go have my, have a hard line hookup. So in order to do that, this is where I'm gonna grab my HDMI cable and the adapter. I need this adapter to fit into my laptop. I'm gonna open that right now. So it's got a USB-C hookup right here. So that's where that's gonna go in. And this cable has a regular HDMI end and then we've got an HDMI mini. You need the mini because that's what actually fits into the projector itself and then the other end is gonna fit into my adapter. So I'm gonna hook that up right now. Oops. All right, and then as soon as I plug this in, it will start projecting what's on my screen. I tell you what, if I, click, if I select inputs, there we go. Now I'm gonna select inputs and digital video. Now it will project. I'm gonna turn it on. So my screen, there we go, okay. So it might take a minute for it to register, but it's going to uh, eventually connect and then whatever is on your screen of your device is going to be projected from this device over here onto your surface. And then you can grab your cookies or your baked goods and place them under, you would wanna size on your device, okay? So it's a little bit more cumbersome um, to resize everything by going into the settings on your projector device. You're gonna wanna resize things over on your computer device, your tablet, your laptop, or phone, or whatever you're using, okay? So if I were ready here, I would want to bring my cookie over and see it's a little bit small compared to how I want it sized on the cookie. So I would go back to my device and I would size it from there, and then it will project the new sizing. So there we go.